like share and subscribe okay good morning so today i'm going to speak about a very important and very concerning issue as of now has been affecting you know our lives in a uh, in a very dramatic way I'm going to speak about the wuhan coronavirus outbreak that's happened recently and is causing a lot of humdrum in uh, you know china and other few other countries in the world we are actually very concerned because we are concerned whether the virus is actually going to come down to india in fact there have been few reports in the last couple of days of it you know coming down to few cities in india but it still is not confirmed so this message i am actually trying to put it across at this point of time because uh, this is of high importance how can we actually protect ourselves you know from spreading the virus around and how can we be a play crucial role in uh, preventing the spread of this virus so before that just a little brief introduction about the virus so basically this corona virus the name comes from the from the it's a latin word corona corona means crown that's how the uh, virus actually looks under the microscope you know it has you know the structure covering the envelope of the virus is like the crown that's how it gets its name so this virus is actually all around us in nature it is not something new it has been here since many many years you know so this is one of the most common virus that actually causes the common cold which we get infected very often but the problem is not there the problem happens when this virus all of a sudden undergoes mutation especially some corona virus that is transmitted from animals from which is their primary host to you know to human beings that is where the mutation happens and that is where it becomes a big problem so the current wuhan outbreak as such the problem as of now is the vaccines the development of vaccines is still underway we are actually not you know we are far away i would say from developing a good vaccine against the virus now what could be the reason for this the reason is very simple you know the new mutated virus we for de- to develop a vaccine we actually need to have the virus structure in the lab you know so that unless we have the structure of the virus we cannot actually go ahead with the vaccine development because once only only after the vaccine structure is available with us we can actually inject it to animals to see if we can develop antibodies protective antibodies to the virus and once the antibodies are developed and then we need to actually start with the clinical trials where we inject the you know the the antibodies to humans to see uh whether we can actually we are actually developing immunity to the virus so it's a long process it's going to take many months if not years before we complete go through all these stages and find the vaccine is available so that is why it is not quite an easy task by the time we actually have the vaccine uh, the person at hand so that is why at this point of time it is of utmost importance that we follow basic few measures to contain the spread of this virus or basic few measures to keep ourselves protected what is that the most simple and most effective way is following basic rules of personal hygiene the first thing is avoid traveling to crowded places because this virus spreads through respiratory droplets so the more you are in a crowded place the more chances that an infected person might actually try, you know through a sneezing through sneezing or any such nasal droplets in that you might be exposed to the virus so as much as possible avoid traveling to crowded places and if so if you are going to a new place new building you know make sure that uh, you you are always uh, following some basic measures like using an alcohol based hand sanitizer to keep uh, you know frequently washing your hands on that so uh, and another important thing if you, you know if you, let's say if you if you have a cold or if you are sneezing make sure that you sneeze into a tissue or make sure you sneeze into the elbow of your hand so that you're going to contain the transmission of the respiratory droplets and always make sure that uh, if you're going to a new building if you're touching tables chairs door knobs make sure you use the hand sanitizer or wash your hands with soap and water you know thoroughly because that will destroy the virus and along with that make sure that if you're sick try to be at home because that is also important you know as a human being of the society it's important that uh, we take active participation in preventing the spread of uh, any such uh, potential infection you know so if you're sick stay at home please don't travel and you know spread the infection around so uh, make sure that if you follow these instructions few of these personal hygiene measures if you follow it will go a long way in preventing the transmission of this virus so i hope with this basic information 
we take the you know important measures to prevent the spread of the virus all around and keep ourselves safe also ourselves and our family and our friends safe and you know so please follow these things and stay healthy and be safe